suspects that Mike is having an affair with Riley's best friend, Candace. Oh! And not only that, Riley is terrified that Mike, who, by the way, is a recovering addict, oh! is secretly using drugs again. Oh! This is her story. I have been putting up with my husband Mike's betrayal for way too long. I have a bad feeling that my husband slept with my best friend, Candace. And that's why I cut her ass out of my life. Mike went to a sober house to try and get better, but he got kicked out of the house because he got caught with some bitch. Cheating is not my only problem with Mike. I think he's lying and stealing to support his drug habit. I think my husband stole my laptop, and I think he stole his family's iPad. If Mike has been cheating on me, stealing, or using drugs, I'm filing for a divorce. What, what does the mere thought of your husband sleeping with your best friend, what does that do to you? It's devastating. He's, he's the love of my life. I changed everything for him. You cut her out of your life. You haven't seen her in two years. Yes. So, Mike, your husband did admit one thing. He admitted that Candace kissed him. What did Candace say? He told me that she kissed him, but right. I believe her. I don't believe him. He lies to me over and over. Talking about lying and stuff. What about his Facebook page? What happened to that? He likes to delete messages. I know you've been talking to people. Why is it, why is it gone? And then, now, are you all... I mean, you all are married. How would you describe the state of your marriage? Almost separated. We don't live together. You don't? I can't trust him. Cheating is one thing, but you also believe because of his drug past, if he's using drugs again, you consider that cheating, don't yes, you? Yes, I really do. Because you, you had your problems with yes. drugs. Yes. And you kicked it. Yeah. So... Mike wanted to kick it. He went to a sober house. He was getting treatment. What happened? I got a phone call from one of his roommates saying that he was caught having sex with another woman. In the house? In the house. Right. They knew he had a wife and kids. Right. Things come up missing. Yes. Like what? We go to family meetings, or like family like get together, right. like for birthdays. Something comes up missing. At the at the house. At, at the house. Oh. His family. His, his family. family. Something missing. What was missing? An iPad oh. that belonged to a five-year-old little girl. And by the way, you think he's been stealing from you in your house? Yes. Like what? what my, my, a laptop. I had a laptop come up missing, but it didn't. I didn't. Uh, accused him at first. It wasn't until something else came up missing and he admitted to, and then when the drug use started coming up, then I was like, I, it has to be him. Right. The, it came up missing with no explanation. No explanation. And then, and, and then uh, also, do you think money's missing? Yes. Yes, there were times where I locked money into my center console of my vehicle, and somehow it's just gone. It was locked. So what does he say when he, you ask him about all these things that turn up He missing? denies it. He makes it, he flips it around to where I'm crazy and that he's not doing anything What's wrong. What's going to happen if he fails this test? I'm going to get a divorce, Mari. Everybody, here's Mike. Mike, come on out. I tell you what, I got an idea. All right, I don't, I, I don't really want to read this test. I want you to be able to just right now, tell me right now, own up to anything you've done. I'm telling the life. truth. Every, right. Everything that I've to told everybody this far has been true, and everything that I've admitted to, other than that, I'm telling the truth. Okay. You're a liar. I'm here. I'm here to prove to you that I love you, and that I wouldn't do some of the things that you think that I would do. And all this, all this other stuff about the sober house and all that, it's someone lying on me. And I understand that I've lied in the past and things haven't gone. Yeah, but you were lying then. 
friends. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But now that I'm trying to do right, it's like you can never believe me. We can never move past all that if you can't ever because get it. Because your behavior get to the hasn't even process. changed. Okay. Well, well let's, let's put it this way. Never change let's go. If you let's don't go. Let, let's go down the list. Let's talk about her so-called best friend first. Have you ever messed with her, Candace? No, sir. Did she kiss you? Candace is a hoe, okay? Oh. Any, 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 any person walking down oh, the street, well, she, so. she'll You're get on. You, you know, are. she gets drunk, she gets wild. It's always Whatever. everybody else's fault. It, it ain't, it ain't, yeah, It's always okay. everybody else's fault. Because ball. it is. Have you ever seen her nude? Yeah, who hasn't, you know? Oh she walks down the street. All the, I've seen wow, this girl walk down downtown Dallas pulling her shirt up. Everybody done seen her. Okay. How come you delete your Facebook? The things that are on my Facebook that I delete are just things that I don't want creeping back up into my life. I see. <laughs> All right. It's still hiding stuff. Let's talk, let's talk about what went on at that sober house. Did you sleep with another girl at that sober house? No. Just one person understanding another person's problems. <laughs> Letting them. You ever steal a laptop? Uh, I, I, I have had problems in the past. I've had problems in the past right. with, with taking things and, and drugs and all that and everything that I admitted to, but other than anything that I admitted to, no. So you're telling the truth about the laptop now? Yeah. Oh, so you're lying. Here's the thing. It's nice, girl. Just us, but